Hi, it's Kerry Fitzgibbon here from Social Media Plus One, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your account in Business Manager. So if you're sitting there wondering what Business Manager is, it's a new tool that Facebook has uh, released, it released it last year, um, and it helps, it's meant to help businesses, and if you're an agency out there, manage ad accounts, ad, manage pages and apps all in one place okay so I've been using business manager now for around about six months have found it a little bit clunky but in speaking with a uh, Facebook rep recently um, and I was actually told this last year as well but uh, Facebook will be trying to get most businesses or people managing pages to transition over to business manager so some of the key benefits that I can see to business manager um, if you know you, you don't really have to transition over now but you might want to are um, a, that you are able to manage you know your page any apps everything like that from a central location um, you can give different access to different levels of users and whatever else but you know you've been able to do that um, typically w w with your account as it stands now so um, there is um, also if you are an e-commerce type of store and you have a whole heap of products you can run uh, product dynamic ads from business manager as well um, and it's just a lot easier to be able to assign roles inside there, okay? So um, it might be worth the switch, and if you want to switch over, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first of all, you're logged into your account, and the easiest way to do it is actually just go and type in business.facebook.com this will take you through to business manager um, some of the benefits that they say are everything's in one place you can work faster and better because <laughs> um, it reduces the time it takes to set everything up I'm not actually sure I, I, I agree with that and you have increased control because you can see who has access to uh, business manager or who has accessed the pages and that. If you're a company that has more than three staff then I would suggest you might want to go over to business manager. If you're also a company that has more than three business pages you might want to switch over now as well or if you want an agency to manage your Facebook advertising um, or you are an agency then you'll probably want to switch over as well. So we've gone over to business.facebook.com and then we go right down to the bottom of the page and get started. Um, and then next and then we have to tell them a little bit about our information here so advertiser uh, choose a business category right pick a category it doesn't really matter what you pick just sort of keep it nice and loosely based um, approximately how many people would be working inside business manager and how many pages, ad accounts, and apps uh, will you be working within Business Manager? So let's just go 1 to 10 with that, and then let's go next. Uh, name of business. What pages are available to start bringing up some of the pages that you manage? So then you can pop them in here. Um, we'll just do one at the moment. And then go next. Name. We are in. So, um, also actually another thing to note that if you have what Facebook classes as a grey account, so this is an account where it's not actually attached to your personal profile as such, that you sign in with a business email address and the only thing in there is realistically a business page. Facebook started closing those down as from last year in fact um, and it's going to get quite strict on those uh, those accounts and I think it's actually as from October there will be um, all the all the grey accounts will be only in read only status so you can fix that by switching your grey account over to business manager here if you've got one of those okay so we don't want to open the guide with I've seen it uh, how do I close it down all right we do want to open the guide, it appears. Right, so 
Here's your dashboard of business manager. Now we need to know, go and um, assign ourselves and our pages and make sure everything's all working, okay? So we want to go into business, uh, you can go into business settings, you can go into business tools, so we've got people, pages, ad accounts, so on, all in here. Uh, and you've got your business tools, so you can go into your ads manager and your power editor as well, okay? Uh, so let's go into... Okay, so this is essentially your dashboard. So we've got people here. So when we click on people, it brings up you. If you want to add a new person, so a staff member or whatever else, you can click in here to add a new person, okay? We can go into pages, and it's got your pages in here, okay? If you want to assign an agency or um, a, a partner to work inside here, then you can go and assign a, 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 an agency or a, a partner to work with you. Uh, you just need to get their um, business ID, okay, which will be this number up here, right? Um, you can also add a new page in here, so we can uh, request access to a page, claim a page for business manager, or create a new page. So if we want to claim one of the other pages in here, we go claim a page. You only do this if you own it, not if you're managing it for someone else, okay? So next. Start typing in the full URL of the page. Must be admin if you want to claim it. Claim page. Since you're already admin, it's been approved straight away. Okay, so you go in and add your pages in here as well. Uh, add people. So you can add people in here. You can add in whether they're a page advertiser, moderator, or whatever else in here. Uh, so that might be a staff member, uh, and you can assign a partner, uh, so this is your agency. We can go into add accounts here, and so your ad account will be sitting in the old uh, Facebook on your other account, so you need to add that, bring that through. So we go add new ad account, we can either create a new ad account, you can claim an ad account for business manager, and you can do this if it belongs to you, or you can request access to another business's ad account. Um, so if you're already, um, again, an agency or anything like that and you have access to someone's ad account, you can do it there. But we're going to go claim an ad account and go next. We've got to get the ad account ID. So you might want to go into your, log into another uh, browser and find your ad account or, or get it before, <laughs> before you actually go through the process. Make sure you copy and paste it. So... And that's the number there. It's also this number down here. And we enter it in here. You've got to understand that once you claim the ad account of business manager, it cannot be removed. Okay, so you are in business manager. So claim ad account. The ad account, uh, a Sam ad and a uh, Sam pattern is now owned by Save Time Outsourcing. Okay, so you can now manage ads in here. View ad account and power editor. View make payments and so on. And it, again, sign agency, sign partner. So that's your ad accounts. If you've got any apps, this is where you add the new app in here. Um, Save Time Outsourcing doesn't have any pixels yet. Um, but if you actually go through, it probably should have them in the in, in still in the ad account that was previously there. So um, add some new payment methods. This is where your product at catalogs is. So if you've got a product catalog and running e-commerce stores, this is where you want to load that up so that you can do some product dynamic retargeting ads and so on. You can add projects inside uh, Business Manager as well. So if you have uh, different sorts of projects within your business that you're, uh, or campaign, not so much campaigns, but projects that are quite separate. If you're a big business, this is where you want to create the project. And then you can have different people working on different projects inside here as well. Um, partners, you can have shared logins as well. Um, so this is where you have your grey accounts, and I believe this is where you load in your, 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 your grey grey accounts if you've got any of those. And so on. So um, let's go into the ad account and make sure that we're all okay here. So if we were going to manage this, we go view ad account and ads 
manager. We've got the campaign in here, okay, everything in here. You still have your pixels, so if we go into tools, we've got audiences. And all your pixels are still in here as well. Now this should actually also give you access to the new unified pixel. Sorry, if we go and have a look at our audience, so let's have a look at our audience pixel. If we do this here, view pixel. So we've got a new unified pixel now. Uh, I'm not doing a video on that right now, but uh, it is coming. If you are using audience retargeting pixels and conversion pixels, carry on doing what you're doing now. Um, I will be doing some instructions on the new unified pixel at some stage. Uh, so that's pretty much in a nutshell for setting up Business Manager. Uh, the difference now is if we go back uh, to Save Time Outsourcing here, so this takes us back into Business Manager, okay? If we want to go to Personal Profile, we can go back to the Personal Profile, like so. But now we can't actually toggle between our Personal Profile and our Business page like we did before, which was going in here and going to that page. It's now owned by Business Manager. So the next step is you actually have to go into Manage Business so we click on that here. And we can either go into the page by clicking here, onto the page, right? So we are using the page admin and posting and liking and commenting as save time outsourcing. You can go and use Facebook as your page. So use Facebook as our page. This means that we can go now around Facebook onto other pages and still be save time outsourcing, okay? Or we can switch back to our personal profile, okay? So you can go back to your personal profile quite easily, but getting onto Business Manager or onto your page now, you've got to go through Manage Business, drop down to your page, go to your page, and then use Facebook as your page. Now the other thing with this is that uh, if you are using um, your typical Facebook app, uh, you won't be able to get to your business manager pages from that. Uh, you'll have to go into the uh, Facebook business page app to be able to manage your business manager account. So that's it in a nutshell. If you do decide to switch over, um, I hope this video helps. If you decide to wait it out, um, you know, you sure can do that as well. It, it, you know, it just want to show you what you will eventually be doing. Um, but uh, right now we're not forced to, do, to switch over yet. But um, so far I'm finding it uh, a little bit better than it was six months ago. Um, and it's, you know, I like the added features that you can have inside Business Manager to be able to do a few more things in terms of Facebook ads and, uh, and manage everything in one place. Right now.